Hey Tubes. Right, this is the this is the part of the operation you guys never get to see. This is where we got I gotta take all these uh, grungy parts. And what I do is uh, I got about four gallons of Obama gas here and I I soak them in there. I got a block in there now soaking. I soak them for about 15, 20 minutes. And then I gotta brush them. Got a brush and everything. I'm sitting out here in the rain. It was raining for a while. I'm doing all the grunt work because uh, Mike only has a limited amount of time to be with me, so I don't want him uh, spending his time doing this kind of stuff. I got uh, the oil pans, got, got uh, all four of them done, got one of the blocks done. That came out pretty good. I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get another cleaning and sandblasting before we uh, paint it, but just for the milling and everything, at least we're not dealing with uh, greasy crap. Uh, a lot of guys ask me how I clean these things up. You know, it's, uh, it's pretty simple, but uh, let me throw you up on the tripod and show you how I clean one of the blocks. All right, it's been uh, soaking in there for about 20 minutes. See if I can find it here. There we go. See, it's uh, pretty grungy, but uh, when it's all softened up like that, it's actually taking the paint off. Another parts brush in there somewhere. I can't find it though. Anyway. This is working pretty good. Just getting the ball nooks and crannies. I don't know how well you guys can see that. And I'll blow it off and see what it looks like. All right, I brushed all the gunk off. Now what I do is, uh, it's actually sitting on top of another block in there. That makes it easy to work on. So what I do is I take them out and I blow them off. Like I said, these aren't uh, these aren't paint ready. These just to uh, get rid of some of the grease. I actually take some of the paint off. I don't know if you guys can see that. Looks like it's greasy, but that's actually paint. There's really no grease on here at all. And the head, the head's actually a pretty rough casting. It's, uh, it's strange. Them. All right. All right. There we go. We got uh, we got them all degreased. Now we can uh, at least play with them without getting all greasy. This last one, uh, I think I'm gonna throw that back in the in the gas here and let it sit overnight because uh, it had some real thick gunky stuff on it. You know, hard hard gunky stuff. So you know, when Mike used to work, uh, they had a tank, a hot tank. We could have just threw these in there and. Uh, they would have cleaned themselves, but we don't have access to that anymore, so. All right, next time we uh, see you, Mike will probably be here. We'll uh, start milling some stuff. All righty. All right, Tubes, Mike is here working on our uh, 
little prig. He can't say hi because he's concentrating. I don't want him to lose any limbs. But he started he started using a, a regular end mill. It's a 3 8 end mill, but it was taking uh, too small of a cut and stuff like that. So what he's got on there now is a fly cutter. And it's, it's not taking much more. I guess it's... What size is that, Mike? Uh, it's taking a... It looks like about a one and a quarter inch. Uh, one and a quarter fly. inch, so... Yeah. It's almost three times as much. Yeah, you gotta go slow, but it, you know, it leaves a finer cut behind it. So yeah. It's nicer. That's it's what nice to do it, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we're, we're working on this. After, after we mill it, we're gonna have to uh, cut some holes in it for the crank and the, the can, so... We'll let him do that. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. But, but since I got you on my on the line here, look who we got here. Hey, Tubbs. It's a little dirt bike. What are you doing? Are you building a rocket ship or something? Yeah, yeah, working on the jet. You guys don't know about this yet. Oh. You will soon. You ain't going to see it. Yeah. I ain't going to show you. Right. I ain't going to show you what he's working on. <laughs> but it's pretty exciting. So check out his channel. When's it going to be on, kid? Uh, maybe tomorrow. Oh, oh. Oh, you'll, you'll be on long before this is on. Yeah, I'll be up by the time you see it. Yeah. Alright, let's get back Let's get back to the task at hand here. Alright, i got to prepare the next block for Mike. All right. We'll see you then. Alright, after a long, hard day, me and Mike uh, were able to mill this, grind them and mill them, and... Uh, Get them so that they all smack close together. Good, nice job, Mike. Why don't you take one out so we can look at it, Mike? There we go. Yeah, we milled the sides so they all, all meet up nice and everything like that. Whoa, it's so shiny from the light, Mike. I just got a, a, oh. a, sun, a, a sun glare in my eye. Hmm. Did a nice job, everybody. Alrighty. So now they're going to uh, be nice smack dab up with each other, make it easy for us to weld. we still got to do some work on the on the bases, on right. the bases, the oil tanks. We're going to make one oil tank for the bottom, and uh, we're getting a hand in, Mike. That's our our distributor, our little baby distributor, 1927, right? Chevy. And where do you think? Where do you think we we'll to put it? I know we have a few options. Yeah, a couple of option options. I think it's going to end up something like this at the back, right, right. between the third and fourth cylinder. That's right, because you know we got so much going on. Yeah, this side's gonna be crowded with the in, with the manifolds it's and, gonna the have the, and everything. The exhaust. Um, the front's gonna have the shroud and everything. We we don't want to clutter the back up because where the flywheel might be. Right. And um, you know I think that looks pretty. I well. think so. I think it looks okay there. Yeah. It doesn't have to be centered. I think it's centered. It's we. No, and the, if we're gonna we're gonna have a fuel tank somewhere too. Right, remember, right. So, so that's that's a good idea. So the fuel tank is gonna be up, you know, and we'll on one figure side. It out. So we're thinking right along here is nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think centered wouldn't look right because you're going to have the, the carburetor pretty much centered. Yeah, that's, that's right. The carburetor's going to be here. And, yeah. You know, we're going to huh. spread it out a little bit. All right. What's our next move? Our next move is uh, welding them together. That's right. Okay. And then maybe a little uh, little dicking around here and there, figuring stuff out. But uh, right. we still got we still got to bore holes in the side. Turn one of them sideways there, Mike. Yeah, we still have to uh, open it up. Still got a bore, uh, a three and a half inch hole in there, so the crank will go through. Right. Not All the there cranks. Yet. Not there yet. Right. So that'll be our next move. Yep. Before we weld them. Ah, <laughs> we're welding together. We can't do that. That would be good. You okay. Need a long hole stop for that. Yeah. All right. So that's it. That's uh, that'll be enough for this video. Next video, we'll get back to you. We got our buddies over here. Dirt bike way over there in the corner. Look at him. I see him. And Daddy dirt bike. Look at him. Put that back. All right. Say goodbye, Mike. See you later. All right.